So here's my 98 International 4700 right there. And um, I had all kinds of problems. They told me it was electrical issue. So I have two computer ECU, replaced the IDM uh, with a rebuilt unit, but that's newer. It's a C3 instead of a C1. So, um, and then uh, took all the fuel stuff apart and then uh, replaced the pump ball, manual pump ball behind there, check valve, which is behind that little plus, hard to see there. Um, but that ball was messed up. And then uh, what? I didn't think I was getting any pressure, so I took the H-pop off and uh, took the little bits apart that you can take apart easily. And there's a fairy plug under here. It's called a fairy plug under there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and in that fairy plug, it's like a, a shaft the shaft goes in and there's a 0.25 inch ball. So this little ball here is a quarter of an inch. That's it. And then there's an O-ring for the fairy plug. Replace that into the uh, fairy plug area. It sits in there. It's a pressure relief ball or something. But mechanically, that's the only thing I could find left since the injectors didn't sound like they were leaking or anything. So I replaced that and put the pump back on a few minutes ago and guess what it cranked right up so i got an engine warn light on so i gotta figure that out but uh, but it started so i'm gonna go ahead and start it for you okay warn engine light comes on and goes off and then comes on so I had to figure that out so we'll see if what codes if any but and it's it's running smooth right now I've started it twice, so I had to figure out that code. Look at that water and fuel light has gone out. Pumps there, but no RPMs on the dash. So I had to figure out the RPMs, and I don't know if, I mean, obviously the pr oil pressure gauge works, but we don't know if the, uh, uh, we don't know if that works. Maybe the worn engine light is the brake pressure. I don't know, let's, let's find out. We can plug in that thing. to tighten the uh, fuel stuff. But look, the uh, mile per hour gauge not working either, so maybe I have a dash issue as well. But we'll find out, but it, it feels like it's running pretty good. They told me it was electric issue. They told me it was electric issue. Um, so, that's why I diagnosed everything else first. Went through the whole, man, I troubleshot all of this stuff and the IDM and uh, making sure all that was good. And and that was the problem, was the fairy plug check ball, the quarter inch ball was missing. I mean, totally missing. So it wasn't generating enough to, uh, to get it to go. So looks like I have a rail leak I'll have to figure that out oh maybe that's a gasket um so we'll figure that out we'll take all that apart they may have taken it apart and then not torqued it up when they were trying to fix it um so I'll do that and then uh, fuel fuel lines um yeah so I need to tighten the fuel lines there we have a bit of leakage going on not from the one I thought it would <laughs> so so we'll do all that but um, need to the uh, fuel rail I'll have to find out I'll have to retorque all that just to see what's up but man so glad it's it's like running so 
I'm going to see if it'll move forward. I'm going to see if it'll move backwards about two feet. And we'll go from there.